and uh, provide an update. At 4.39 p.m. on Sunday, November 21st, 2021, a lone subject intentionally drove his maroon SUV through barricades into a crowd of people that was celebrating the Waukesha Christmas Parade, which resulted in killing five individuals and injuring 48 additional individuals. I just received information that uh, two of the 48 are children and they're in critical condition. We have information that the suspect prior to the incident was involved in a domestic disturbance, which was just minutes prior, and the suspect left that scene just prior to our arrival uh, to the domestic uh, disturbance. When the suspect was driving through into the crowd, one officer did discharge his firearm and fired shots at the suspect to stop uh, the threat, but due to the amount of people had to stop um, and uh, stop and fire no, did not fire any other additional shots. The officer is on administrative leave as part of the department protocol. No one was injured as a result of the officer firing uh, his discharge in his fire weapon, firearm. The subject was taken into custody a short distance from the scene and we are confident he acted alone. There's no evidence that this is a terrorist incident. Due to the wind yesterday, there was a power outage downtown Waukesha to further complicate our emergency response. I want to identify the victims that we've at, that we know of at this time. And I say this with great sorrow. Virginia Sorensen, 79 year old female. Leanna Owens, 71 year old female. Tamara Durand, 52 year old female. Jane Coolidge, 52 year old female. Wilhelm Hospital, 81 year old male. The suspect involved in this tragic incident is identified as Daryl E. Brooks, male 39 years of age, who is a resident of the city of Milwaukee. At this time, the Waukesha Police Department is referring five counts of first degree intentional homicide with additional uh, charges based on the investigation, but those will come in time. There are many roads in the downtown area. Uh, were closed as investiga investigators worked through the crime scene. Those roads have since been open. I'll say this, minutes after the incident occurred, uh, I responded to the scene and what I saw out of chaos and tragedy was heroes. First responders and the community coming together and working together on triaging victims uh, the fire department, working in partnership with the fire department, getting these victims to the hospital. Fire department transported multiple victims. Uh, Chief Howard will talk about that. Officers picked up victims and put them in a squad and rushed them to the hospital. And citizens also picked up victims and rushed them to the hospital. There's also off-duty um, law enforcement, fire, and EMS personnel that were attending this event, who immediately got involved and took part in saving lives. I want to thank our community partners. I want to dispel some rumors. There's no pursuit that led up to this incident. This is not a terrorist event. I want to thank our first responder partners. It is a long list, and I apologize, we apologize if I forgot anyone. Waukesha, Police, Police, Waukesha Fire Department, no words can express the partnership that we have with the Waukesha Fire Department, and how we work together as one in this incident. Um, Mavis Mutual Aid Box Alarm System, Chief Howard will talk about that. The, sub the Suburban Mutual Aid Response Team, which we call a SMART, um, responded, which it includes a dozen local law enforcement agencies, FBI, ATF, uh, the state, um, 
Division of Criminal Investigations, School District of Waukesha, the Milwaukee Fire, the Milwaukee Police Department Fusion Center, the Wisconsin State Crime Lab, Wisconsin State Patrol. After this press conference, we'll provide a link on our website for any questions regarding witness information. If there's any additional video that a citizen might have, they can um, look at this link or any family members or individuals that need to recover property. The Washtenaw Police Smart website is the only source for information. Do not release information from any other source as, as it has not been vetted and could lead to false information.